In today's video, I'm going to talk about Architecture's extension for SketchUp. My name is Katarina, I'm a garden designer in ICNX. So welcome to another video from Garden Design Tools. In today's video, we're going to talk about Architecture's extension for SketchUp. So as you know, you have uh, two ways to download an extension for your SketchUp. So you can go, if you're already in the program, you can go to the extension warehouse through uh, SketchUp, or you can actually just go to the extension warehouse and uh, type in um, architectures for SketchUp. The link will be in the description of this video. Download it to your PC, okay? Uh, once you're in the program, uh, you can go to extension management manager sorry install extension and you go and pick it up your extension from your um from your computer from your download folder and that's it okay so what's going to come up is something like this so you have this little here little tool that you can actually add to your toolbar okay so what you have here let's explore a little bit the window that comes up so you have the new texture and this is starting from zero so let's explore that a little bit so you have a pro version of architectures that we're going to explore a little bit the advantages of that pro version in a bit but right now as you can see here i can't uh, bump or edge because it's only for pro in here you have the settings so if you want to change four inches Okay, you can change it in here a little bit. And here you have share this texture or save it. You, I can't save it because only in the pro version you can save it from here. Okay, so you have a pattern that you can choose. Um, and you can change, of course, the, how this pattern looks. Rows and columns as well. You have the material. You have really nice, lovely materials already here. Of course, if you have the pro version, you can upload your own. Okay. You have here the, the width and the height. This is really cool. You can play around a lot with the contrast of the material, with the saturation, invert colors. Really explore this to the maximum, especially if you already have a material in mind that you can't find it anywhere and you have something similar here. Um, I think it's really, really a good idea to explore this a little bit and change the things and, you know, try to, to really do your own um, really uh, realistic material. So, and in here you can change the edges, fine, rough, uneven. So you can see here straight away uh, the changes again, and you can see, you can see the the edge scale as well add another material again if you have a pro version and you can change here the mortar um, of the joints okay and you can change the the colors as well uh, so this is looking really terrible and of course once you're happy with it you import and what is going to happen is going to appear here in your materials tray in your sketchup model but let's go a little bit back and straight away in here, this is all materials already made for you if you want. Okay, so this is all their materials and you have really lovely materials, not um, uh, nature made materials. Okay, so you don't have uh, uh, grass, natural grass in here, nothing or earth or soil, nothing like that. This is uh, all built materials um, and you have artificial grass if you want. So you have here the categories of the materials that you, if you want to explore, okay, you have your stone, for example, you have um, surfacing, um, as, it, as, as you can see here, you have some stones, uh, artificial grass if you want, uh, terrazzo, this is really cool. I really like to explore this this kind of materials i've added here some to my swimming pool um in here you have the patterns if you want to search by pattern okay uh, your material of course you can you know uh, search here as well for example everything to do with oak and this is what we've got and here is the library and of course if you have a pro account you will save it um, but if you imagine that you want, you have some kind of, um, oh, of course, um, some concrete, um, but maybe you want to change a little bit things in here, or you're really happy with this texture, you want to use it, but you want to change. You can go to edit and it picks up the characteristics from that material, but now you can change it. Okay. You can even stack it like you want it. You can change the, 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 the colors. Okay. So you can do a lot of things in here. 
as as soon as you're happy with it you can import and what's going to happen as you can see here is in your is in your material trays okay so you know i could just apply this to my model if i wanted so i can't save it in here in the extension okay because i don't have a pro account but i could save it here if i wanted to okay so i just go to edit and save it in my pc if i wanted to to use this this texture in a future project so let's just go and quickly go to the uh, architectures website just to show you a little bit the advantages of a pro account so i'm gonna go here get the pro account so what you had with the pro account so if you're happy with it and you think there's something that you're really going to use in your projects i think it might be worth it it's not that big of investment and you have the high resolution uh, downloads you have the bomb maps really really nice if you're using twin motion and lumion in your projects CAD and Revit part and edges and increase maximum rows and columns. Upload your own source of materials, okay? License for commercial use, save your design library, and you can work in a team as well. So check it out the extension and really see, you know, if there's something that you're gonna use a lot in your work. I think it might be worth it. Another quick tip before you go. So when you go to the architectures uh, org, this is what you have, and this is all the textures that there are in the extension inside SketchUp. But if you go here down, you have these photo textures, and this is photorealistic, okay, material based in um, photographic images. And I think if you were using just SketchUp, I think it's an amazing idea to use this type of photo. Uh, photographic textures it, no they're really really cool so i've downloaded previously this uh, ivy uh, wall okay so you just go here and you download you could create as well so you picks up uh, just from zero that uh, that we have the same in the extension but if you go into just to download and it downloads this ivy wall okay so you have the preview of the scale so let's go back to our uh, sketchup just gonna take this out okay so imagine that i want in here um some ivy wall uh just close to my shower so i'm just go here do a new material so i've done i previously download is in my download folder that ivy wall i press ok and i just really wanted to show you the the quality of the material okay so as you can see the texture is all messed up but as you go here okay look at that it looks really 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 nice i love to use if using just sketchup using photorealistic uh, textures in your model it looks amazing i really think you know you really should uh, should use photorealistic if you're using only a uh, sketchup or at least try it you know try to use a mix of both um, materials um, so let me know what you think all the links will be in the description of this video i'll do a couple of renderings just to show you uh, how exactly looks the final uh, result in terms of uh, textures but i will not do any post-production work okay see you guys in the next one